and friends, welcome to our Wednesday installment of math. This week we are doing lesson four from our measurement unit, and we are moving on to measurement of shapes. And the objective today is about perimeter, which is probably something you've addressed in fourth grade, and we're going to keep going with it in fifth grade, making it a little bit different, adding in some uh, more challenging word problems, and preparing us to go into our next step of area. So. We're going to get started looking right at the problem solving task. Today's video should be shorter than the ones we've been doing because, again, a lot of the skills are skills you probably have developed already and more just thinking about the different kind of questions we're going to see as we go forward. So let's get going. All right, here we go, starting with our problem solving task. Um, and you can see we've got a picture already. We're already talking about measurement with shapes. It says, Jacob's family just bought a house. They want to put up a fence around their property. Home Depot is selling white picket fencing for $28 per yard. His family lives in a property that looks like this. It's 26 yards here, 18 yards here. The first question we're asking is, how much fencing will the family need to get? And then B says, how much will the Petersons have to pay to put a fence around their property? Pause your video, take a couple minutes, solve out A and B before we can talk about what the answers can be. All right, so hopefully you've th thought about it and talking about this problem here. And if you're putting a fence around the property, think about where a fence goes around a property, around a yard. It goes on the outside, and that's what we're really talking about when we talk about perimeter, the outside of something, the length around the outside. So how much fencing will the family need to get? And the two things you might have done, I think probably some of you did, 26 times 18. So if you did 26 times 18, that means you're taking like 26 groups of 18. And we're gonna think, is 26 groups of 18 what is actually going on around here? And it's not, because if you imagine yourself, you're walking, if you walked around the outside where this fence is gonna be, you're gonna walk 18, you're gonna walk 26, you're gonna walk another 18, and then another 26. All right, now that we know it's not a multiplication problem, um, because I know I'm not actually taking 26 groups of 18, I like to use a strategy when I think about perimeter as just walking around or tracing the outside, because the perimeter of a shape is the space, is the distance around the outside. What's inside the shape doesn't really matter, it's what's outside that's important. We're making a fence, after all. So imagine I walk one side, then I walk the other side, then I walk this side and that side. What's the total distance it's going to be? And a lot of you probably have made it just a simple addition problem. You walk 18 yards, then you walk 26 yards, then you walk another 18 yards, then you walk another 26 yards, and you're back where you've started. You've walked the whole perimeter or outside of the shape. Um, and if I do this is an addition problem, I'm going to kind of fast forward it there we get 88 feet. So that's a simple way to do perimeter and it's gonna work for rectangles and squares, but some of you might've actually found a way that uses both addition and multiplication. So if you haven't done it that way, take a second, think about how that's possible. Try it now. So hopefully you realize that although you can't multiply 26, oops, 26 times 18, because there's not 18 groups of 26, in this addition problem, there's actually two 26s because the top is 26, or the, this side of the R is 26, and that side is 26, and the sides are both 18. So while we can't do 26 times 18, we can do 26 times two. But then we have to add it with 18 times 2, because I have two 18s as well. And if I'm writing out my equation, um, you can write it out like this without any parentheses. We know that because when you multiply, you always multiply before adding anyways, so it's not going to make a difference. But some of you might have put parentheses around the outside, and that's totally okay. I now I've just made myself a little PEMDAS problem, put it together. Um, 26 times 2 uh, is going to be, well, 20 times 2 is 40, 6 times 2 is 12, so it's 52 plus 18 times 2, 10 times 2 is 20, 
8 times 2 is 16. 20 plus 16 is 36. So 52 plus 36 equals 88 feet. So we have the same exact answer because we're doing the exact same thing. We have two 26s and two 18s. This exact method will only really work with rectangles, and we're going to see a parameter of all different kinds of shapes in today's lesson, though mostly we'll see rectangles. So um, if you were to write this as a formula, people would often say it's length times 2 plus width times 2. Or you can say length, again using L to represent length, L plus L, length plus length, plus width plus width equals P, P standing for perimeter. So again, different formulas, but they mean the exact same thing. This only works for rectangles. Just make sure you're clear on that. If you didn't get 88 feet for your answer for the first problem, if you multiplied or made some other kind of mistake, pause this and now try part B again to see if you can get the right answer. So part B says, how much will the Peterson have to pay to put a fence around their entire property? Again, think of if 88 feet is your answer. All right, so hopefully you either got 88 feet or you took some time and then rechecked this if you had 88 feet. The Petersons are going to buy this fence, and it's 88 feet is the length, but it's not the cost. To find out the cost, where are we going to look? Probably want to reread -read the question. It says the family just bought a house. They want to put a fence around the property. Yep, we know the fence is 88 feet. Oops. around their property. Home Depot is selling white picket fence for $28 per yard. Oops, oh my gosh, Mr. B, what have you done? You did the wrong unit in there. It's 88 yards. Wow, amateur mistake. It's getting late, that's why I shouldn't have done this. So it's 88 yards, I should change that down here too. Reading the question a second time is always a good thing to do. I would refilm this, but that was such a good lesson. Read it carefully, friends. 88 yards, $28 per yard. So. If one yard is twenty-eight dollars, how much would they pay for twenty for is how much would they pay for eighty-eight yards? So that's eighty-eight groups of twenty twenty-eight. So it's eighty-eight times twenty-eight equals pause yourself for a second there, solve that. So I took myself a second solving that out. I got eighty-eight times twenty-eight equals two. 464, 2,464, and the unit here is going to be dollars. 2,464 dollars for fencing around the yard. And there you have it. That's how you solve a word problem with perimeter of a rectangle. Again, thinking about adding all the sides or multiplying the sides, the, the sides times two, and then adding together that total. So let's go back, review a little quick about what perimeter means and how to solve those problems. You're, you're back facing me now. Um, you'll notice the hat today does not really fit me. It's one of Eamon's hats. This quarantine is going on a long time. I'm starting to run out of hats. So I got to dive into other people's stashes of hats here. It's a monkey. Um, and the monkey is really into this and I'm into this too. But when we're talking about perimeter. We're talking about the space around the outside. Um, and this major taught me a really great chant. It goes like this. It says, perimeter, perimeter. It goes all the way around. Add up all the sides and perimeter you found. So we're gonna hear that chant. I have another one for area on the, on the Friday and we'll hear those pictures together. Um, I'm getting some feedback from his major in the background saying it was terrible. So maybe I'll be a little more enthusiastic. Perimeter, perimeter. It goes all the way around. Add up all the sides and perimeter you found. She's still rolling her eyes at me, so I imagine you're rolling your eyes as well. But the monkey, he's still looking good. So um, when I find the perimeter of these shapes, all you got to do is add up the numbers. Make sure you don't count a side twice. Add up all the numbers. You get the perimeter of this one. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. Or you could say 3 times 3 because there's 3 of them. Just instead of, add, instead of doing repeated addition in that case. But what kind of situations do we use perimeter in when we think about a word problem? Because oftentimes it doesn't say 
find the perimeter of the yard or find the perimeter of the picture frame. It's just going to give you a question and ask you what to solve for. So when you're seeing, reading a word problem, what you're going to find is questions like asking about the border of something. A border goes around something. So for example, the border of my screen is around here. Well, you're finding a border, you're probably finding the perimeter because it's the outside. Um, you might, if you're walking around something, you're always going to find the perimeter because you're going around the outside of a field or outside of a building. Um, that's perimeter. When you put, um, another thing we can tell us it will do is it'll put trim around something. A trim is kind of like a, um, a, a thing that goes on the outside, like a window trim. It's something that goes around the window. You can see the window trim right here uh, that goes up there. Also, picture frames go around pictures. That's a perimeter situation. So if you're asking about how far something goes around the outside, you're probably talking perimeter. So I can, I'm going to take a second and write these ideas down just so you have it in case you're writing down notes with me. Whoa, I'm not really sure what happened there. My computer literally stopped working for 20 minutes. I'm going to try to keep my flow going uh, with this problem. We already found the perimeter, hopefully. We added up all the sides. 12 plus 24 plus 12 plus 24 equals 72. 72 yards is the total. But this is being a fifth grade question. It's going to go a little more than that. It's going to ask you to take it a step further. It says, tomorrow he has tripled how much he walked 
has to triple how much he walks to get exercise. Triple comes from our earlier units where we talked about expressions. To triple something means, think about it, triple try means three, so three times more. So do 72 times three. 72 times three, well, 70 times three is 210. Two times three is six, so it's gonna be 216 yards. That's tripled. Okay, but you can show your work for that to check that. Going on to the next one, we got to find our perimeter. Per, and just thinking about this crazy shape makes me think of the, the riddle, the rhyme. Perimeter, perimeter goes all the way around. Add up all the sides, the perimeter you found. We just have to add nine plus five plus four plus six plus eight. And when I have complicated shapes like this, I find myself tracing it with my finger or my, in this case, my cursor to make sure I don't miss any sides when I add them up. Okay, add those up. You got what to do. Next one, our last guided practice question says, Kelly's office is 8.3 yards on one wall and 5.9 on the other wall. The opposite walls are the same lengths. What is the perimeter of her office? When we're saying opposite walls, we're talking about ones on the other side. So um, just to give you an idea, um, can insert just a shape here and all we need to know is ooh, it's on the other side that's fine so it's 8.3 on one side and 5.9 on the other and then the opposite sides this is one side that's the opposite side so kind of one side opposite this side's opposite is this side the one below it so Basically, it means it's a rectangle. So we've got 8 and 3 tenths and 5 and 9 tenths. It's the same thing we've done before. How are you going to find the perimeter? Take a second, solve it. All right. Hopefully, you realize there's two ways to solve this. You could do 8 and 3 tenths plus 5 and 9 tenths plus 8 and 3 tenths plus 5 and 9 tenths equals, or you could do, hopefully, you guessed it already. 8 and 3 tenths times 2 plus 5 and 9 tenths times 2. Doing the same exact thing. Um, I'm not going to solve these for you because you should be able to do them. In fact, thinking about this now, reading this question again myself, why did I make this so easy by having both at the same place value of decimals? I should have made this harder. I should have made one a whole number or mixed, missed you up a little bit by adding hundredths in there to make you have to line up your decimals when you add. Make sure you line your decimals up when you add people. Quick plug. And make sure you include your yards in your answer. That's it for our guide of practice. I'm going to wrap it up. We've talked about perimeter. We've talked about when it's used, how to use it. We've even got a song that's hopefully stuck in your head a little bit. Perimeter, perimeter, it goes all the way around. Perimeter, per oh, add up all the sides and perimeter you found. I see this page are crim and cringing again. I'll have it practiced by Friday. It's going to be perfect. Um, but that's all you need to know. Perimeters, the space or, uh, is the area, uh, it's not the area, sorry, the distance around the outside of a shape, and we use it when we're going around things. On Friday, we'll come back and make it a little more complicated by mixing in area, but for now, finish your uh, independent practice on your pe packet, click finish and uh, turn in, or click mark as done, then go to Edge Elastic, do the exit ticket, and submit that as well, and you all set for your Wednesday work. Have a great day. I'll see you again on Friday.